Documents and Images. Now basically in this screen here you're going to be looking over to make sure you got the bare minimum. Most of it's going to be advanced and these responsibilities set up. For example, the default image type should be JPEG. If it's deleted or something else in there, it may not work. So you want to make sure it's JPG. Documents folders, documents. Now the P drive here, um, colon backslash PPMD files, that should be there. If it's not there, um, you may have problems with saving your um, documents. So make sure that's set up correctly. And if not, call advanced media support. Your images folder, basically you want to leave all these fields alone, including your web document storage. That should be yes. If it's set to no, then you may have problems. Well, you won't have problems. You just won't be able to save your images or store documents um, on advanced MD. Um, the only things that we can really touch or go over is the default file name format and the file description. What that means is when you're saving documents or images, you can save in Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, Acrobat PDF files. When you save them into Advanced MD, you're going to get a pop-up window that says name, and it'll say description. And in those fields, you'll have this gobbledygook or this coding. Now what that means is if you leave that alone and you just click save, it's automatically this coding is, is going to pull C for chart number, N for the name of the patient, and the D is for date, for today's date supposed to help you cut down on all your typing and so you hopefully don't get carpal tunnel anyways um, you can always delete that and type over it not here but I mean when you actually upload documents so I would say leave the defaults alone you do have other defaults you can add coding to this in other words you could add a dash a percent and also the letter V for visit number if you'd like that tied to all your documents that you pull in and very quickly I'll give you a screenshot here of all the codes you can type in but you want to type it exactly like you see it here you don't want to have any spaces in between them you don't want to miss the dashes just like you see it otherwise leave them the way they are text to display for files you can either choose name or description 99% of the time everybody says name in other words when you upload a document you type in the name EOB and you save it that's the name you're gonna see when you hover over EOB you'll get the description so which one do you want to see first and the other one you want to hover over with. Do you want to see the description and then when you hover over description get the name or vice versa? Most offices choose the name. General Display Guided Setup. All that means is that when you log into Advanced MD you probably get this pop-up that, that keeps saying we want to help you set up Advanced MD, a guided setup. Well if you don't want that to keep coming on you can say no and then save it and every time you log in you won't get that memos and notes display patient memo in quick charge entry display patient memo in quick pay and payment plan memo the key word here is all memos these are pop-ups would you like pop-ups every time you're in the charge entry screen posting charges about the patient would you like a pop-up in when you're entering payments in the quick pay and would you like a pop-up anytime the patient has a payment plan that they're tied to most offices usually say no on the first two um, and the pop-ups would be just basic patient information like their name, um, maybe the date of birth and so forth. Um, you're already going to get that when you're entering in charges, at least some of the information. But again, you can always come back here if you don't like it. Um, most offices do say yes for payment plan memo because when a patient comes in, they'd like to know that when they pull up the patient, they get a pop-up that says they're on a payment plan. Font used to display notes. Well, the good news is, is that you have many fonts to choose from. The bad news is you only get three. So anyways, take your pick. I'll stay with Tahoma. Patient billing. Demand statement format. When you send out your statements, all the patients will get a statement when you cycle out every 25 or 30 days. Now if a patient comes in earlier and says, look, I would like a statement now. Can you generate one for me? You can demand it. Now the thing to note about this is, is that any time you demand a statement, they'll still get a statement in the regular um, statement run. So it won't interrupt that now you have a couple of options do you want to when you demand a statement or generate one right then and there do you want it on paper or do you want it to go out to McKesson electronically you can send it to McKesson electronically they'll drop it to paper stuff it and stamp it and mail it off for you or you can do it in-house and just drop it to paper yourself default statement format now this is for all your statements we're talking here when we want to demand one on the spot but when we run a regular statement run would we like all the statements to generate to paper or do we want to outsource this to McKesson and also some added costs that McKesson can do it default statement type now by default is going to be open item and this isn't a field that you can change but if you need to change it you can talk to advanced MD 
and you have two choices basically. The open item on your statement means it'll show all open items on the statement that include each data service, the charge amount for each data service, how much insurance paid, and how much the patient owes for each data service. The other choice is balance forward and that only shows the outstanding balance owed by the patient so I would stick with open item. Default statement group a statement group is the return address and name of the practice, provider, or billing service printed on the statements. If your office has more than one provider and doesn't want the name and address grouped under one, then you want to leave this blank and create a statement group for each provider or practice. Because remember, this is the default that goes out on all statements. So if you need to create more than one statement group, you'll go under Master Files, down to Patient Billing, and over and down to Statement Groups. I left this open so I'm going to close out of this and come back to my statement groups and you can see by default I have one statement group so every statement that goes out I could have nine ten doctors in this office key here but for every statement that goes out it's all going to have the same information on each statement if I don't want this or I want additional groups I can click clear type in another group with another address so I can tie those to different doctors so let's say for example I have two doctors and each doctor wants their own address for statements to come back to and not on the same address as the overall one here again click clear type in a new address here click save so I have two here and then what you're gonna do is after you set this up you're gonna close out of here go to master files down to provider slash groups and go over and down and select your providers or doctors and you can see I got more than one provider here any case select your doctor and it's really simple just come down here and change the statement group so if this is the wrong statement group or the wrong address to go out on the statements for all Jennifer's patients then just go ahead and delete it click on the ellipsis button and choose a different statement group that you created as I just shown you in that other screen and then click Save and then that's it so every patient that's tied to Jennifer will be tied to this statement group so they get that address that Jennifer wants include zero balance charges you can select yes to have the line items with the patient balance of zero to print on the statements in other words if the patient has five charges and they paid on the first four then the, the all five will show but the first four will have zero balances if you don't want anything that has a zero balance to print on the statement as far as these charges go then you can say no and most offices usually choose no include zero balance statements you can choose yes to have the system generate one more statement after the patient balance has all been paid in full to show that the patient account balance is zero most offices choose no on that once the patient has been zeroed out well they get no more statements cycle billing only if you choose yes it'll generate a statement every number of days that you specify and that's in setting up your account types which is the other training video you want to see if you don't say yes and you say no then no will generate a statement when any new activity occurs that affects the patient balance like if you add a new charge or you're posting payments most offices choose yes no matter what the activity is on the account they only want to send out one statement a month and they'll choose yes here they'll set up their account type and say for all typical accounts we'll just say every 25 or 30 days let's generate a statement print a statement for each responsible party or patient 99% of the time most offices choose responsible party because again in advanced MD the responsible party defined here is the person getting the statement and that doesn't necessarily mean the patient because the responsible party could be the parent sort statements by name or zip code include a legal statement notice with your statements most offices choose yes but what is that legal statement notice good question let's go up to master files down to patient billing and over and down to statement messages no worries we're going to cover how to set up your account types in your statements here and other training videos but for right now your system default you're trying to decide whether or not you want a legal message go out on the statements and this is what it is LG you can select it and up here if you can't see it all it's cut off go ahead and click in there and use your arrow key or your right arrow key and go ahead and click over so this is what's going to show on the statement based upon the information from your health plan you owe the amount shown so if you want that to go out on all your statements then go ahead and say yes here include legal statement notice print the payment reason in advance MD anytime you post a payment you can tie a payment reason for it like the reason of the payment here is copay and you can choose yes or no it's split down the middle some offices choose yes some offices choose no scrolling down a bit 
Calculating finance charges by statement group. Yes or no? For accounts that want to calculate finance charges, if you set this to yes, the system will sum up all the charges for providers in the same statement. So like we were talking about earlier, if they all want to be part of the same statement group, then it calculates and sums them all up for one. If you set it to no, then the finance charges will be calculated on each provider's charges individually. So more importantly, if you say no, if a patient has charges for each provider that get rounded up to the minimum amount, then the patient may actually be paying more on this. So for example, when you apply the finance charges, it's going to be billing to end of month to finance charges and just click apply and it applies the finance charges. And that's going to be based on your system defaults here whether or not you want to calculate those finance charges for all the providers in the same statement group or no you want to do it by providers individually and as you recall we just showed you how to set up your statement groups and tie doctors to each different statement group if those doctors want to have different addresses going out on their statement demand payment plan statement format now we just talked about by scrolling up above about demanding a statement well, you're going to have two types of statements in Advanced MD. You're going to have your regular statement run, and then you're going to have patients that are actually on payment plan or payment plan statements. And you have to run those separately in Advanced MD. So that's why they also have a demand payment plan statement format. So when you run your payment plan statements regularly, and a patient comes in in between those runs and says, I'd like one right now, you can generate it to plain paper. Or you can change this to electronically and, again, outsource this to McKesson or again just do it in office and generate to plain paper and print it out and give it to the patient right then and there again this won't interrupt any payment plan statements are going to go out anyways in other words the patient will get two statements the one that you demand right then and the one that's going out in the regular payment plan statement run payment plan statement format these are the payment plan regular runs besides demanding one right then and there do you want all your regular statements to go to plain paper so you can stuff them stamp them mail them off yourself or do you want to outsource it to McKesson for about again 52 cents or so also because payment plans have their own statement run outside of the regular statement runs those who are set up on payment plans you also have a default payment plan statement group again doctors can all be under one payment plan group meaning that any patient on a payment plan they'll get the same address so you can see in this office key I had about six or seven doctors and if they all wanted their own address to go out on payment plan statements or patients who want payment plans then you want to delete this keep it blank and it will be tied to the provider so when the provider bills out a, a default payment plan the statement it'll be their address that the provider wants and again you want to go back to that just a few minutes ago and rewatch that training video again how to set that up.